what advice would you give someone on like how they can get from maybe starting in a company and doing a little bit to really growing into like an incredible position like you were in yourself? Yeah, um, that's a great question. One, have an insatiable appetite for learning. Hmm. Right. And, you know, like, you know, be yeah. a sponge and consider the job description a suggestion, not an endpoint. Right. The job, the, the job description is a way to get in the door, but it's it's not an endpoint. Huh. Right. It, it's yeah. a way to get inside and, and you know, kind of place your bid. But some people see it as like the anchor. It's not the anchor. It's a, it's a bid placement. Right. So yeah. you still, it's a place to start the conversation. So I'll give you an example. When I started at Chase. In 2000, I was I was head of payroll, uh, and right after that, Chase merged with uh, J.P. Morgan, and all kind of things happened to our merger. We moved from New York to Delaware, and uh, things start to happen. And as soon as I would get over a growth uh, curve, I would ask for the next thing. Like literally, as soon as I start, like I'm managing 60 people, I feel like I got it. I feel like the day's predictable. I would go to my boss and go, "What else is going on?" And she goes, well, no, you know, everything's under wraps. And I would hear in a, in a management team meeting that the, the pro project struggling over there. I go, well, well, can I help? Well, you've got a team. Yeah, but I think I could help there. And I would go right. try to help a, another partner of mine who's managing a contact center in Houston or things like that. And so next thing I know, a, a woman who's leading me is, is uh, retiring. I get her group. I pick up a team of uh, another 60 people and about 10 functions everything from immigration services through retirement services and so on and so forth. Uh, and a year or two later, I'm managing, let's call it 30 functions and 200 people. And then the bank one merger happens. And uh, I am fortunate enough, blessed enough to succeed and, and pick that up. And I'm managing a team now, 400 people yeah. across six, seven locations, and as well as some international responsibility. And I just keep asking for more stuff. I just keep saying it. I can do it. Right. We have yeah. a global problem with data management. I go, I think I can pull that together for, you know, I thought it was seven countries and then I, and then I get it. We're like, it's really across 40 countries. Oh, OK. Yeah, I still think I could do it. <laughs> you know? yeah. And, 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 and the so, key thing is you at the time of saying yes, yeah. you didn't you didn't entirely know how to do it. You it sounds like your strategy was more so let me say yes and then I'm going to figure out how to do it. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think and, and I think that's a part of the fun. Right. I think. Yeah. I think one of the things about being on a growth curve is you don't know all of the answers <laughs> yeah. and you won't have all of them, nor will you be the smartest person in the room. I think a part of being in leadership is getting people smarter than you in those different areas and being a facilitator of talent.